Hi, good morning friends. I am Dr. Anand Bhardwaj, Feng Shui and Vastu Consultant. I welcome to all of you to this unique program on Feng Shui for Feng Shui Consultant. Friends, I every time in a new program, I give you many tips on Feng Shui. How to incorporate Feng Shui principles in your life so that you get the most benefit of Feng Shui tenets. As per Feng Shui, there are five great elements, just like the five great elements of Vastu Shastra, which is defined in India by the sages and seers long back. So is the case with the, with the Feng Shui. Feng Shui has got five elements, the theory of five elements. That is, the first one is water, the other one is wood, the third one is fire, and the fourth one is earth, and the fifth and last element is metal. As per Feng Shui concept, if all these five elements are in tune with each other, they will definitely generate the positive vibrations inside the building and around the building so that the comfort level goes up and everybody feels the benefit of these five elements and their vibrations. So far as the vibration is concerned, Feng Shui has defined the positive and negative vibrations being generated by the positive and negative cycle of these elements defined in different different directions. Understanding this direction is not difficult at all. We know east, west, north, south and there are four sub-directions. One is north east, the other one is south east, the third one is southwest, and the fourth one is northwest. The center point is the middle point of any building or any plot that is also very sensitive. As per Feng Shui, when we talk about Feng Shui about money, money is very important factor nowadays and without money no one can do anything. It is said, it is said that money makes the mayor go. Without money no one can purchase very good things, good, good, good items, good fruit, good vegetables, good food and good clothes etc. everything. And if he is not having, having all these things with him, the social status will not go up, it will come down. So this is one of the most important necessities of the human being. Then how to make good money with the help of Feng Shui friends? I would like to clarify that your physical effort that is called karma should be balanced. You should do work with zeal and interest. The endeavor is one of the most important factor of our life. No one is going to make any money without doing any hard work. But your hard work and your effort should get the maximum support from the vibration level, the energy level, whatever is coming from the cosmos is coming from the sides or it is coming from the below, that is from the earth. So as per, as per Feng Shui, the direction of money is southeast. If the southeast is comfortable, it's, it's, it's boosted up with the help of the main constituent that is the wood element the money sector shall be boosted automatically and the chances of getting money with the help of small endeavors, small work, you shall be getting more benefit and monetary comfort. But understanding the appropriate location, the appropriate degree, minute and second of this southeast direction, which is called the wood direction, it's understanding this direction is very necessary for everybody. If you minutely if you minutely analyze all these things, whatever I am telling you, you shall come to know that whenever you made any mistake in Southeast or you put any negative element like metal is there, if the metal is there in Southeast or, or the water element is there in Southeast which are not the friends of this element of wood, then certainly you will have to feel the losses, you will have to face the losses, monetary comfort won't be there. So, balancing the element of wood in southeast and east are very essential to get the benefit of money. So, Feng Shui for money is, though it is a very vast subject, it's, uh, no one is going to define this, uh, this very big subject in few words, but as a consultant, I advise you to look at 
your east and south east direction very minutely especially in south east direction that there is no negative element as defined in this video secondly if you know your exact date of birth that's very good as per your date of birth we will have we will have to calculate calculate your qua number qua number has got very close concerned with the date of birth and the year of birth as per chinese lunar calendar we have to decide what is your qua number and the qua number is going to be applied for calculating everything for your comfort level and the money and money making money comfort money comfort is going to be uh, decided from the crucial direction which is going on in your date of birth feng shui are there are so many schools of class of schools in uh, feng shui that is one is flying star the other one is uh, eight mansion and adaptation so so many so many schools are there so all are very good all are very excellent but the deep knowledge of these principles of feng shui are very necessary if you are able to calculate your qua number i will define all these things in the, in the next video and if you are able to calculate everything with the help of these uh, elements these five elements as well as your qua number matching with your main direction and your symbol the symbol of birth is also necessary to be looked upon because if you are making an effort for for, for the sake of money and the time is not supported to you then in that case you will have to you will have to boost up your positive direction which is responsible for 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 boosting your money comfort money luck so feng shui for money is a very good subject and if you are if you analyze everything whatever i have defined in this small video you can yourself analyze what is going on wrong if you are not getting any monetary benefit the second thing is you can very well balance these five elements for the sake of your benefit but you will have to see on what factor you are going to stress what factor is the most important stress for important factor for you for example if the, the relative the, the relations are not good then the their direction is different if the career is not going to support you then the direction is different the monetary benefit is not going with you it's not marching comfortably with you then the then the, the element is different that is what i defined in this video friends next time in next video i will define you how to put how to protect your career with the help of feng shui tenets feng shui is a very vast subject i will define you each factor one by one so that you can yourself analyze all the positive and negative vibrational forces roaming inside your building and around your building it's not very difficult if you concentrate if you concentrate on my each video you shall come to know the secrets of feng shui and i will define everything in a very simple language and i'm sure that every everybody shall be able to understand these tenets very easily thank you thank you and bye